a very good morning and very very warm welcome to my channel once again i'm happy to address each one of you once again me kamaljeet kaur soni this time i'm going to discuss another topic of cia part 1 risk management is a concept which is kind of very frequently tested concept in part 1 most of us as a student find a bit difficult when it comes to preparation of this concept called risk management since we as an auditor have a very very important role to play when it comes to company's risk management it's equally important for us to how to memorize certain concept related to it so today i have got a very quick trick for you and this trick will not just work for risk management this trick will also help you with lot of other chapters in part 1 2 and 3 of course and for cia challenge exam as well so each time we get a question as to what is the role of management what is the role of leadership and what is the role of internal auditor that's a question where i have seen students normally get confused a lot whether it is related to risk management fraud management or setting internal control or any related concept so today i'm going to give you very smart trick to remember this for every single concept so guys there are three stakeholders we need to understand one the leadership which is also known as people who have oversightry role in the company so for example the board for example the regulators then we have a senior management ceo and below then we have another stakeholder called internal auditor so normally a small trick work this way each time we talk about the role of doing things for example setting internal control or doing fraud management or doing risk management this responsibility is on the shoulder of senior management when it comes to oversightry role this is the leadership's role once again whether it is related to fraud management risk management internal control or any other concept now what's the role of internal auditor the internal auditor's role is to evaluate and comment we do evaluation and we consult so that is the role of internal auditor each time the examination question talks about evaluation assurance consulting suggesting they are actually discussing the role of internal auditor so in a very smart way each time a question test all we have to remember if it is who has a oversightry role leadership who has a role of doing it management and who has a role of evaluation internal audit that's it one two and three it's as simple as that so with these three small tricks we will never forget any concept now it does not matter how the examination question checks your knowledge if a question ever ask about evaluation consulting suggesting assurance who has that role internal auditor who has the role of doing it management and who has oversight role leadership that's it with these three small tricks you can handle all the questions in all part of ci so this was one small trick from my end today but as i promised i keep coming to you guys with all those small small tricks which will certainly help you cracking the exam very much in the first time so with this thank you so much for having me and please do not forget to like my video and subscribe to our channel very soon i will also be coming with a detailed concept which i'll pick up from part 1 2 3 and challenge respectively so with this let's meet very very soon thank you so much bye bye have a good day